Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John, this is Mini a True Nerd, and welcome back to Skyrim, where you join me here in Yorovaska, my home away from home, aside from the other two homes I also have. Yes, Beno, Beno's here as well. Beno would like you to know he's also here. He does like doing that just in general and during cutscenes. And, okay, you could maybe take your sword fight. That doesn't look comfy. Like, this cannot be a comfy way to eat your dinner. Just have your sword. Like, Okay, I think he, this guy actually might be actually stuck in the seat and he's just too embarrassed. Oh, it's Farkas. Yeah, Farkas is not the brightest tool in the shed. When he actually tries to stand up, he might actually have some problems there. I think he's actually wedged into that seat. He's too embarrassed to admit it. Right, we're doing some companion stuff. And Ayla said, go and get a fragment of, like, worth rude or something. A big axe. Big axe thing. It's in, like, the loading screen tips. So we should go and do that. Because I think we've only got, like, one so far. So maybe we go and get more of those. Apparently this is a Radiant quest. So it could be pretty much bloody anywhere. But this door would lead us in the right direction. So maybe we'll do that. There you are. See, it's right there. That loading screen. Apparently we're reforging that thingy. And it turns out to be at Fort Fellhammer, which I have, in fact, already cleared. So, okay, I don't remember that place being particularly big. Let's just go grab that, then. In fact, what was this? Fort Fellhammer, Fort Fellhammer, was this... Hang on, was I here as part of the Civil War quest fairly recently? I might have been, but if I was, now it's like these guys instead. So, no, no, go away, stop evading me, you bastard. Also, hang on, I think I might actually need some nice, uh... Some souls at some point. Yes, I think I... Oh. All right, we'll get Benno back up in a sec. These guys actually seem pretty tough. Right, close up some wounds. Continue closing up some wounds. I should be able to pretty much out heal anything this guy can throw at me. If I just basically keep on keeping on here. And then just go for that. And now we can basically force him into... Yeah, now we can just force him like that. And now we just keep looping around. <laughs> Don't worry, Ben, or I'll take care of them. Okay. So these guys appear to be a little bit on the uh, the old tough side. So possibly I need to be getting Moira out there as well. And also you've got yourself an actual... Oh, you've got the tiniest dagger. <laughs> He's got the tiniest dagger. That's adorable. Also, I've just got an arrow sticking out the back of my head. Right. One silver hand here. Bunch of... Ah. Silver. Right. They've got silver weaponry, which while not great, I am technically a werewolf right now. Which would be why they're doing quite a bit of damage to me. Uh, Benno, however, has no excuse. Because he's, like, you know, not a werewolf. At least, as far as I'm aware. Unless, well, hang on. If if you eat someone's heart, did they become a werewolf? I don't know, possibly. Right, bring Benno back. Arrows and all. <laughs> like the fact that he comes back with three arrows actually embedded in him. That's just marvellous. So down there's Fort Fellhammer Mines. Now, this isn't where I came on the Civil War quest. Why have I been here before? I've been here before, apparently. There's the mines down here, and then the garrison up here. So this feels like this is quite a small area, actually. All right, in we go. The Ooh. Hang on. Is this the place that's got... Yeah, I came here. I can't remember why I came here, but I have come here before. Right, now we just sneak in, and we're supposed to be sneaking, but Benno doesn't really do that. Right. How many people are actually in here? Silver hand leader and... Right, well, let's just get you... Oh, it's just you. Uh, how tough are you, by the way? Um, not tough enough, as it turns out. In fact, I'm pretty sure the last person that was in here also had, like, the Nordic carved armor or whatever. In fact, this might actually be where I got the Nordic armor I originally gave to Benor. I don't know, but I think it might be, actually. Still, apparently what we want is in this here chest. There we go. That's a fragment. It's just a screaming face. I'm not sure which bit of a massive battle axe that's supposed to be. I mean, like the very bottom of the handle. In which case, that's a very small fragment. But okay, we'll just have that, I guess. I've just got back to Whiterun to turn in this quest. Bit of um odd day here. <laughs> I mean, hopefully if there's one thing that might make the Battleborns and the Grey Manes reunite and become friends, it is shared adversity. Like, both of us are now just upper torsos stuck in the ground. <laughs> How did this happen? I've not really seen this happen before, but this is... That's just a thing now. Okay, fine, whatever. Right, good news, Ayla. I brought you the thing. We're going to have the conversation facing this way so you're actually properly lit up. Another piece of glory. Good work, Shield Sister. 
So, we have gone ourselves 300 gold. That's not even worth the trouble. But, we've got a fragment of whatever, so that's important. Now, yeah, now that I've done that, I should actually get a proper quest again. Because the companions basically goes main quest, radiant, main quest, radiant, main quest, radiant. Like you're trying to see a dinner party properly or something. Right, anyway, I'm looking for work. And there is more work to be done. But I fear that Codlack's gotten wind of our recent efforts. He's asked to see you. My advice, always be honest with the old man, but don't tell him anything he doesn't need to know. Okay, those two bits of advice are completely contradictory, given you're hiding a secret werewolf-creating cult from him. Right, Codlack, I've come to speak to you, and I'm going to be totally honest with you, apart from the bits where I'm not supposed to tell you what I know or what I think, so this is going to go marvellously. Thank you for coming. And you wanted to see me, sir? Yes, young. Have a seat. You gonna insist on that? Okay, yes, let's actually do what he says and actually have a seat, sure. I hear you've been busy of late. Yes, absolutely, working for the honor of the companions. Let's keep this as vague as possible. Lass, I know what you've been up to. Mind you, it's no business of mine what each companion does in the name of honor. But this sneaking around, it does not befit warriors of your standing. Ayala knows better, and so should you. In any case, I have a task for you. Have you heard the story of how we came to be werewolves? My favourite thing about Cod Like White Mane just basically sitting me down and saying, I know what you've done, in a disappointed voice is, for this character, he could be referring to so many things. And yes, I'm going to go more for the curse approach here, because I know for a fact this guy considers werewolfism a curse. The boy has a nugget of truth, but the reality is more complicated than that. It always is. Oh, go on then, tell me the story. The companions are nearly 5,000 years old. This matter of beast blood has only troubled us for a few hundred. One of my predecessors was a good but short-sighted man. He made a bargain with the witches of Glenmore Coven. If the companions would hunt in the name of their lord, Hirsin, we would be granted great power. All right, so werewolves, gotcha. They did not believe the change would be permanent. The witches offered payment like anyone else. But we had been deceived. Okay, well you've just mentioned a location name to me, so are we going there to murder some witches? We'll get to that. It's not so simple as just killing them. The disease, you see, affects not just our bodies, it seeps into the spirit. Upon death, werewolves are claimed by Hirsi for his hunting grounds. For some, this is a paradise. They want nothing more than to chase prey with their master for eternity. And that is their choice. But I am still a true Nord, and I wish for Sovngarde as my spirit home. Also, fun thing that someone mentioned down in the comments, yeah, apparently there's a bit of ambiguity as to whether people that end up, like, you know, with her scene in the afterlife, whether they hunt with him or whether they're hunted by him. I don't know whether that's true, I just saw that was a comment that someone made and I thought that was quite interesting. That's what I've spent my twilight years trying to find out. And now I've found the answer. The witch's magic ensnared us, and only their magic can release us. They won't give it willingly, but we can extract their foul powers by force. I want you to seek them out. Go to their coven in the wilderness. Strike them down as a true warrior of the wild. And bring me their heads, the seat of their abilities. From there, we may begin to undo centuries of impurity. Oh, I like the way this conversation went. He says, hey, there's these witches that tricked us. I go, okay, shall we murder them? Oh, no. No, lass. It is far more complicated than that. And then, like, you know, three minutes later, he gets to, you need to kill them, then decapitate them. It's not that much more complicated. It's just an additional step on the end. Marvellous. I'll go do that then. Aha. Uh -huh. I thought someone around here could. Yeah, before I head on my way, as I'm just swimming in money and I'm a new level... Just train me in blocking to help me get up to speed a bit here. So, one, two, three, four, five. Lovely. I've just handed this woman like nine, ten thousand gold, but screw it. She can just retire in peace at this point, and I can be marginally better at blocking. Life is good. 
All right, Glen Moral Caves or Cavern. No, sorry, Glen Moral Coven. That would make sense. That is roughly what witches tend to hang out in. Right, so pretty much towards the edge of the world here. Ah, way down in the kind of south of the reach, more kind of folk reefy area. Okay, I've been around these parts before, but this is admittedly kind of unexplored territory. Uh, okay, as it looks like it's going to be the... Oh, hang on. Is it? Like, because this looks like this might be... Oh, hang on. It looks like there might be a path up here, doesn't there? Yeah, there might be a path from the base here, up here. So I might just kind of put down a custom destination there to lead me to where I think the base is. Then I can loop round to the left, up to there. If I can't, I'll need to... I don't know. Come round to Old Hrolden go down the river and work my way up here. It looks like it might be a little bit easier to climb. I'm not sure. Right, well, let's start off, yeah, let's start off at the Hunter's Rest, and I'll simply work my way along here, see if there's anything of interest, and then see if I can find my way up to the cave there. Collect a head, and optionally wipe them out. Oh, go on then, as we're there. In fact, that's an excellent point. I'm going to need two heads, aren't I? Because that guy is going to want to be cured, and then I'm going to need an additional head for me, assuming there's multiple witches because each witch provides one head. Unless, of course, they're two-headed witches, but they're probably not. But assuming it's one head per witch, then I'm going to need one for Codlac and one for me. So remember to decapitate at least two of them. <laughs> so uh, hopefully I can just do that by looting their bodies, or alternatively, I'm going to need to, uh, you know, hope I get lucky with the old decapitation animations. In which case, ooh, I should probably use a... Ooh. That's just a bird's nest there. In which case, I should probably use a sword rather than a mace. Because maces aren't particularly good at decapitating people. Uh, right, seems like this part of the world, aside from one broken tower over there... Yeah, this seems to be a pretty quiet, empty part of the world. Nothing major I seem to have missed. Now, if my reading of the big map was correct, I should be able to... Loop round up here. Nothing around these parts. Yeah, loop round up here. And there might be... A path that leads up to the top where the coven is. So this is roughly the right area. Yeah, pretty much on top of my marker. Now if I'm reading this right, is that a path up or not? Because this over here does seem to be pointing in the right direction. So... Live in hope that this path... Maybe it's not on top of the cliffs. I thought it was on top of the cliff, but maybe it's not. Because I seem to be very close right now. And anyone minding the door? Doesn't appear so. Just some tap roots and skulls and whatever as warning. Ooh, dramatic rain. Did that just happen because I'm at a dramatic place where I'm about to be hunting witches? Or was that just pure coincidence? If it was pure coincidence, that was bloody lucky. Because it really suits the mood. Right, Benor, let's go kill some witches. Right, first things first. How many of them are we going up against right now? Ah! I don't actually need to know that because they're all quest markers. Okay. Quest markers and... Ah, spiders as well, I think. I'm pretty sure that's a spider. Are they... Ah! From the way that one is hunched over, I'm thinking Hagraven. Are they all just Hagravens? Is that a Hagraven? That looks quite like a Hagraven to me. Yes. Right, well, let's just forward cast you. I don't know how many are in this space, but... We'll just forward cast you, let you get in there, uh, yep, yeah, charge in there, and ooh, powerful old magic, okay, a Glen Moral Witch, including, okay, she's actually, oh, blimey, okay, as it turns out, not defensively that strong, and that was indeed a spider, okay, and fortunately, there all seem to be in different rooms, so, one Glen Moral Witch, and appears to be, yeah, this looks hag grave need. ooh, blimey, Okay, so I can just remove their heads together with, yeah, they are just hag ravens, it's fine. Um, anything worth taking? Honestly, no. Take the head. That presumably does make, Oh yes, that does make the head pop off. Right, so I've got a head. That would actually be quite easy to do, just with like a sneak attack or whatever. That thing seemed, yeah, she seemed to hit hard with her magic. But other than that, yeah, it wasn't too good. But you know what? Let's actually wipe them out while we're here. Especially as it looks like, yeah, they're all actually in different rooms. This won't be too difficult at all. So, number one, through in this direction. Oh, sorry, number two, I suppose. 
We're looping. Oh, hang on. I thought we were, but we're not. We're just looping up top pit. Oh, hello. You're just a troll. Well, trolls are not really that concerning these days. Basic trolls I can take care of. Uh, right, there should be another one down here somewhere. Hello? Where are you? 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 I think we're almost there. Yes, hello over there. Right, okay. Also, one... Oh, blimey. She's... Oh, she's trying to use magic. Oh, tanking magic is my speciality. Oh, dear. Oh, good luck. Good luck with this, because you cannot do a thing to me. And go away. Right. I think we'll have an extra head there. And pop. I like how it just, like, you know, pops off. There's no animation to saw it off or anything. It just kind of pops off by itself. Right, well, now I know for a fact that, yeah, they just uh, use basic magic. Uh, yeah, that actually makes my life very easy. Because I am well set up to resist magic, all right? They just cannot touch me, can they? No. No, they cannot. Right, through here. Hello, number three. Why don't you just try tossing your fireballs at me? See how well that works out for you. So we got a spider here. And that spider's dead. And then we got you. And oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, the claws work a little bit better. But four swings and she's dumb. Right, well let's just finish off these people then. I just decapitated this one. And then she flipped up right into this slightly disturbing weird pose. But you know what? I've got the head. That's the bit that matters. Right, and fifth and final. Let's just get my shield up, pretend I'm concerned. Oh yeah, good job. Good job with this. That's right, you just take a swing. I don't think I'm going to be getting my block up particularly fast here. Yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with your blood is ours and all of that business. And down you go. Still, I'm glad one of them actually bothered to say something. So I've got all the heads... Which is nice, and I think I've got all the loot too. So, let's just be out of here then. But actually, I think I saw a back way out to the right. There's more than one entrance to this place. Because the front door I came in was up there. But up this way to the left, I'm pretty sure there was, yeah, back way out. Let's just check this doesn't need anywhere more interesting. And this was not actually the back way out. That was just the way I came in. Okay, possibly the other way I was looking at where I thought the way in was. That was just where, like, the second witch was. I'm not sure I got a bit lost in there. All right, back again. That same patch of ground has claimed a new victim. There's a rift here in Skyrim. Can't neither magic nor the passing of time make it right. Have you tried just calling, like, a competent, like, handyman or Tyler or something? Because... I see the rift you're talking about, and it is a problem, I agree. The silver These hand. two aren't a problem. They finally anymore. had the nerve to attack your bastard. We got most of them, but I think a few stragglers made it out. Oh dear. Right. Well, it's that part of the companion quest then. Because <laughs> this seems to happen in every major guild quest. At one point during the quest, the bad guys come and they attack the headquarters and everybody but a couple of core people die, which probably clears out enough space for me to become guildmaster. Right, anyone we actually knew? No, that was one of theirs. So I'll have the hawk feathers though, because that's useful. And I'll have the silver ingot, because I can make jewellery. And do, 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 nope, that's just more of these guys and you. So basically, what we're saying, Ayla, is, yeah, the Silver Hand attacked the actual headquarters of the werewolves, and they basically got in and killed some of your lot. Well done. These two aren't a problem anymore. Right, well, I guess Ayla doesn't want to chat. I'll just go inside then. I'm gonna guess Codlax's dead then. Where have you been? I was doing Codlax's bidding, all right? I'm gonna guess he's dead, by the way, and that's gonna open up an opportunity for a new Guildmaster to rise, and that can be me and something, something, something. I hope it was important, because it means you weren't here to defend him. The Silver Hand. They finally found enough courage to attack Yorvaskar. We fought them off, but the old man, Godlack, is dead. You know, really, for rather than yelling at me for not protecting him, you should be taking a good hard look at yourselves, because you were here, Farkas was here, Ayla was here, all the other companion recruits were here, and apparently not one of you was able to defend him. Like, not my problem, I was off on a mission given by him, I am literally the only blameless person here. No, 
But they made off with all our fragments of Wuthrad. But you and I are going to reclaim them. We will bring the battle to their chief camp. There will be none left living to tell their stories. Only songs of your Vasker will be sung. We will avenge Kodlak. And they will know terror before the end. I'm going to be honest, the songs about Yorovaska are not going to be particularly impressive these days. <laughs> it might take some work, but yeah, the song's going to basically go, Oh, the heroes of Yorovaska, who once were attacked by their enemies, the Silver Hand, and not a single member of the Companions was willing to give their lives to defend their leader, because their leader was cut down and nobody was actually able or willing to defend him. Those mighty, mighty, cowardly heroes. Right, anyone else dead? Oh, that's just a, that's just a bandit. <laughs> That wasn't even a silver hand, you've just been invaded by day-to-day -day bandits. Bloody hell. Now, where's Codlack? There's Codlack. Right, do you mind if I actually have... Oh, I can't have his stuff. Boo, I want his stuff. Make them bleed. Don't leave any of them alive. Make them bleed, yells Ayla, though you're not coming with us? Make them bleed. No, of course, you should just stay here and wiggle your sword around and wave your torch and just guard the corpses that have already been created. After all, otherwise they might come back and kill Codlack again. So, destination up north, Driftshade Refuge. Uh, okay, looks like if I go to the Imperial camp that should be fine. Would anyone in the Imperial camp mind me? I'm on the Imperial side. Uh, Companions and Imperials are not at odds. And Benor is lovable, so no one would ever attack him. Yep, we should be fine. Oh, apparently we haven't actually been there yet. Sorry, that possibly was like a place that was put on my map at some point. I haven't actually bothered showing up there yet. Okay, uh, Nightcaller Temple then. That's close enough. Never mind, I may have picked a bad point. All the Frost Trolls are back. Benor, tank for me for a second while I take care of them. Sorry, Vilkas, I forgot about all the trolls that actually spawn right on top of that point. Sorry, also, you got a helmet from somewhere. You were not wearing that a second ago. Also, I do like how um, none of the companions seem to actually go werewolf while you're out with them. Like, I went out with Ayla at one point, and she never actually went werewolfy at all. And, like, Skjorn never went werewolfy, as far as I can recall. Actually, we never ran into him. He was there. But I think he died in human form, not in werewolf form. And we went out with Falcus, and he never went werewolfy, aside from that one time where he kind of did it as part of a cutscene, then never again. And I bet Vilkas isn't going to go werewolfy at all. Like, we're not really committed to being werewolves, are we? You just kind of, you know, maybe hope that the people who were werewolves might turn into werewolves, given they're all like, Oh, this is a great blessing. Codlack is a fool to reject this power. We are so mighty as well. Well, then become werewolves. Like, just, you know, become a werewolf at some point. If you think you're so bloody mighty as werewolves, then be werewolves, I guess. Right, so apparently I haven't been here before, but it's on my map for some reason. So uh, probably I'll be sent here sooner or later. I may as well hop down and trigger it. There we go. Lovely. There's also... There's also a mysterious tower over there. Now, I know we're supposed to be going and getting revenge for Codlag, but there's a mysterious tower... And it has got a path leading up to it, and I don't know what it's for, and that intrigues me. Because that's like the lighthouse symbol, but we're very far from the sea, so why do we need a lighthouse? And also, right, where's the rest of the team? Oh, there he is, he's fine, he's fine, he's catching up. Okay, game. What exactly is this place? Frost flow? No, it is a lighthouse. With a dead horse. But... Hang on, are we are we close to the sea that I'm expecting right now? I guess we're kind of close to the sea. Like, I feel like if you wanted to build a lighthouse, you'd build it, like, on top of this big island right here. But I also feel like it's got to have a barrow I just haven't bothered going to yet. But, yeah. Okay. Just a lighthouse. Just, you know, a day-to-day -day lighthouse to keep things away from the... Ooh. Yeah, that's a really big barrow over there, isn't it? Ooh, that's... T okay, later. Come back for that later. For now, just check whether the lighthouse is doing okay, because there is a dead horse right here. Okay, so... Not seeming to be so hot, actually. This lighthouse has got a bit wrong. Find the source of the... Mo Ooh! I've found a thing! Right, so... Habda. Journal. Any chance I can figure out what's going on here? 
So we're dealing with an old retired person, used to be a sailor between Hammerfell, Salzheim, retired, bought this lighthouse, okay. So Habda was the dad, Ramati was the mother, and they had two kids, Marni and Sudi. Marni and Sudi bicker, harass each other. Ramati keeps finding things missing from the cellar. Sudi says she heard a noise down there. Marni just thinks their mother is going mad from isolation. Okay. Something down in the cellar. Yes, yeah, scratching coming. Okay, so there's some form of creature down in the cellar. I returned home to find my beautiful Ramati killed. And this thing, this horrible bug-like creature. Ah, okay. It's the buggy bugs and presumably some Falmer as well. Gotcha. Except I think it might be a Daedra. It says here. Okay, that sounds a bit bigger than just one of the buggy bugs. Must have come out of the cellar. I'm going down there and locking the door behind me to make sure they don't escape. Don't know if I'll make it out. I have to save my family. Except the journal is right here. This is Ramati. His journal is here. And ah, okay, it was one of the buggy bugs. Uh, that is not a Daedra. I know we're supposed to be going and getting revenge, but oh, also your face looks weird in that light. Um, okay. We need to find our way down to the cellar in that case. Ooh. Huh? Okay. I'm liking this. The game is actually adding little ambient scratching noises in the background. <laughs> it's very cool. Right, Sudi, who I believe was the daughter. I caught Marnie in the cellar a couple of days ago, going through some of the barrels and crates. At first I thought it was him all along, making the scratches to play a trick on me. I heard them again last night and Marnie was in bed. Father finally said he would get some traps and poison from town in case it's skeevers. I'm really scared it doesn't sound like skeevers to me. Marnie won't listen. He thinks I'm just making up the noises and keeps sneaking into the cellar. Why is he so stupid sometimes? I don't know why he keeps going down there. I found the cellar key and I've copied it and hidden it in Mother's favourite keepsake so he won't find it. Aha! That's how we get down there then. Gotcha. Problem is... What is her mother's favourite keepsake? Um, I don't know, but logically this is their two room. This is Sudi and Marnie's room. So it would be the other bedroom where the mother's favourite keepsake was, logically. Ah, the mother, Ramati. Her journal's by her bed. Well, there's a mention of some of our keepsakes from the trading ships we used to sail, but I can't find them. So I don't know, hmm, okay, I'm glad I unpacked my favourite, ah, here we are, I'm glad I unpacked my favourite urn and put it safely on the mantle before those two started causing mischief. Okay, so the key is in the urn up on the mantle, marvellous, so, aha, burial urn, Marnie Cellar key, beautiful, and a third insect in a, still don't know what those are for. I've now got three insects in a jar, and I don't know what they're for. Also, why do we get the feeling that some stuff's just spawned in? Because it does distinctly feel like there's a lot of red on the map right now, and all of that business. And also, Ben will just pulled out a nice thing. Ah, unlock cellar door. And unlock wooden door. That's the one I haven't got the key for. The cellar's over there. Fine, let's just crack this open first. Ah, the expert door leads up to the top of the lighthouse. Okay, well, let's start there just in case we can learn anything, as it's hidden behind an expert locked door. Well, nice big chest. Ah, but requires a key. Fine, so this is where my reward for doing this little quest is going to be. It's going to be down in the cellar, presumably on the guy's corpse. And we could have actually opened this at any point, because, yeah, it's masked lock. You don't actually need the key. So, down we go to the basement here. Oh, traps. Watch out for the traps. And I'm just going to forward cast Moira to go and see what's going on here. So who's down here? Is it just some... Yeah, it's just some buggy bugs. Well, that's absolutely fine. So I'll go take care of one of you and just finish you off. Moira and the rest of the team will take out the others. Lovely. Now, where's the corpse of the... I think it's the father, isn't it? He said he was going down there, locking the door, etc, etc. If we can't find him here, then that logically means he went deeper, trying to find the source of the infestation. But then, if you guys are here, 
How much deeper could he have got? And ooh. Okay, into the flipping abyss, apparently. Right, quick detect live business here. Turns out to be, yeah. Not too surprisingly, what looks like a bunch of Falmer and their little buggy bug friends. So I see you over here, my good man. You're going to try and use magic, are you? Good luck with that. Uh, and then we've got ourselves, yeah, some more bugs. You guys handling that pretty easily. This area seems pretty small. Uh, so I guess I just have to work my way to the end. Try and get to the guy himself. And presumably also the key he's holding for that special chest. Right, one room at the end here. Moira can just basically keep you busy while I go and take out a couple of spiders. This weapon's out of charge, but quite frankly, it's powerful enough even without. Moira is keeping you busy, Shadow Master. Well, I'll just get behind you. And dead. Lovely. My companions seem to be stuck a little bit earlier in this area, by the way. They struggled to actually navigate past uh, one of the initial areas. So they're just not here. They're just not here right now. That's fine. I think me and Moira can handle this. Hello. Yeah, you know what? We got this just us. This is going to be... Especially if you're going to try and use magic. Good luck using magic against me. Good flipping luck. Ain't going to go well. Yeah, sword. That's a better idea. No, nope, back to magic. Didn't end well. Ah, Vilka's finally caught the hell up. Marvellous. Uh, the question is... Hang on. I've looped around to the top of this here room... Where do you want me to go next? Yeah, there's some Falmer stuff here. Uh, where is the next... Yeah, that's how I came into the room. Then there's just a buggy bug over there, who I'm sure someone will take care of for me at some point or other. Ooh, I found Sudi. Right, she was kidnapped at some point. Gotcha. Hello there, Sudi. One bloodstained note. Uh, they took... Oh, bloody hell, I can't read this that easily. Oh, this is getting a bit dark. I think I know why he left me this dagger. Right, we're into children committing suicide in this quest. Marvellous. Um, yeah, this is this is getting very dark. I don't know how long we've been down here. Father came to find us. Those things captured him as well. I asked him if he'd seen Mother or Marnie. I don't know if he could even hear me. One of those big bugs bit him when he tried to get free. Now he's feverish. Right, uh, so. Sudi has nothing of note on her. So, she took her own life, rather than being led away. Okay, right. Where next? Also, Benor! Bloody useless. Now, I just saw Vilkus through... Yeah, Vilkus is through here. Um, Vilkus? How did you get through to where you are right now? Because uh, I think that's where I want to go, but... I don't actually... I don't know how you got there. <laughs> Okay, uh, Vilkus has managed to find the way forward. Um, so I know I want to go to the left. Uh, that is just a house and a dead end. This... This is the room I... Wait, is this a different room to the one I... No, this is the same room I came into before, right? Maybe? I... Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Hang on, I think I'm getting lost here. No, this is a different room. Sorry, I thought it was the same one, but it's actually not. And now, conveniently, this chappy's... Oh, blimey. Right. Uh, looks like we all have to drop down. Okay. Uh, guys, there might be a drop down to do. So, good luck with this. So, everyone forward to... No, that wasn't quite forward enough. Okay, hold still. Hold still. Just, just keep going for... Nope, now Benor's... Okay, Benor's learnt his lesson. <laughs> he knows not to stand close by to, you know, sheer drops when I'm around. Right, I think everyone's better lined up now. There you go. Everybody down. Has everyone managed to survive that? You all okay? Is... Yep, everyone's fine. Lovely. Right, deeper in we go. I've got fireballs out at this point because screw it. I may as well grind a bit of destruction. That does not do much. That does not do much at all. Fine, we'll just batter you to death then. Now, her note, the daughter's note, did actually specifically reference something about Daedra. Suggesting either there's something more going on here than I'm expecting, or she just assumed these things were Daedra, I'm not sure which. 
Also, I want to be clear that I just saw a lighthouse and thought it might be fun to explore the lighthouse. I was not expecting a giant icy abyss filled with monstrosities. That was not my plan. Ooh. Are you a big bo- Ooh. A reaper? That's probably more dangerous and also more worrying. Um, okay. Well, this is fine because I'm going to need, uh, friends and also just a moment to back off just in case. So you can just- oof. Okay, that was hilarious, by the way. Uh, the fact that you just basically flew straight past me. And actually, I think I can momentarily finish you off. Screw you. Right. Job done. Turns out, yes, it was. Ooh. Blimey, this quest is a bit on the gruesome side. I guess we'll just take those as they're a unique item. I'll keep them in a chest and it'll be fine. Maybe I'll, like, take them back up top or something. That'll be nice. I can, like... Yeah, maybe I won't take those with me, because those are kind of gruesome. But maybe I'll, like, you know, lay them to rest next, like, the others. Apart from the daughter, who, like, doesn't have remains I can put in my inventory. So, she can just, like, stay down here, I guess. Right, back around to the lighthouse. Nice quick drop down brings me into the right area. And I think I also picked up a key at the end there. And if there was, that'll let me crack open the chest, see if there's anything interesting or unique there. So here we go. Chest opened up and gold, great soul gem. Hmm. Okay, there was a point in my past when that might have been cool. And instead we've got ourselves... Ooh, can I activate it? Ooh. Of... Did I just throw his remains into the lighthouse? Would... Would he have wanted that? Did I have any particular reason to believe that was his last wish? That's... Okay, that just strikes me as an odd thing to do. Oh, I've found a lighthouse. I'll toss some bloody human remains into it. Like, I would have thought you'd want to, like, you know, bury him with his family or something. But okay, apparently I picked up a new power. Sailor's Repose. Healing spells cure 10% more. I have literally no idea why tossing a bloody skull into a lighthouse flame would allow me to heal 10% more with all healing spells, but that's actually genuinely quite useful, so good. Right, back to plan A. Looks like if I loop this way, then turn left, that will lead to the area I'm supposed to be going to all along. Sorry about the minor detour there, Vilkus. I just, you know what? There's other people that have been murdered. It's not just Codlac White Main that's been murdered, alright? Loads of people have been murdered. Very often by me, but in the instances where it's not by me, I do like to solve those murders. In instances where it is me, generally we just pretend those don't happen and I pretend I'm a good person. That's pretty much how I live my life and it's worked so far. Right. So this here would appear to be about the place. Yep. No one's standing. Oh. Someone standing guard. Or at least something out here. Hello? What's the red? Is that a guard person? Have we just got a guard out back? Hello? Yes! Yes, we do. Okay, don't, don't kill them too quickly. I need their souls. Like, my weapons are seriously underpowered right now. So just, just hold still. Hold still. I think we... No, that was Vilkus. I got the wrong one. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Boom! Got him! Okay, we can kill him now. It's fine. And another one is going to... No, this guy. There we go. Right, now... Now we can finish him off. Right, back to... Fu I think I killed Ben or... That's fine. Did I just absorb... Wait. Whose soul did I just absorb? Did I just absorb Ben or soul? I don't know. I might have done. Right. Definitely the right place because of the whole werewolf head on stick thing. In we go, murder everyone, go and recover fragments of ancient battle axe for no well-explained reason. Now, how many people are we looking at here? Quick scan ahead. And actually looks... Actually looks surprisingly quiet, to be honest. I see... Yeah, I count four and see no one else. Maybe there's some more further on, but yeah, actually, that seems eminently manageable. So, in we go, and number one can just go down nice and quick. Oh, yeah, you guys are seriously soft and squishy. And number two is trying to be a bow user. Vilkus, would you mind? Well done there, Vilkus. I feel like Vilkus deserves some revenge here, so we will let him do some of the killing, absolutely. More coming in. And, ooh, there's my sl- Oh, blimey. Okay, the slow-mo with the shield is seriously badass. I do approve of the slow-mo shieldiness. That's really cool. And just by the way, feel like, yeah, all of this is in one area. 
Because, ah, barred from the other side, fine, we have to loop around to that. Yeah, it feels like this is all in one area because the quest marker is showing it's in this area, which is always bloody convenient in Skyrim. Right, let's just loop around here, bat some more people. If we find anyone a bit tougher, I might just practice my block against them. But yeah, it feels like we're looping around pretty quick here. Hello! And, oh! <laughs> okay, we are just murdering today, aren't we? Right, I see someone around here. Hello, hello, where were you? No, sorry, just, this is the silver hand. Right, go. Yeah, attack me. Attack, attack. Just, or don't, whatever. Also, my light armor's going up. That's good, too. What's up? Stop, no, stop running away, you coward. Go away, boo. You don't get to run away, you either fight or you die, okay? One or the other. Right, feels like we're almost done with the loopy roundy here. Who are you? You're just a... You are a silver hand. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, you're going to be the big lad then. Okay, that's right. Come for me. Come for me. That's right. There we go. Why don't you just basically take a swing at me? I'll block it all day and then occasionally just bash you with a stick. Anyone else want to try and get a go in? And just... Go for you, and oh yeah, oh you've got healing, Lardy da. But then you decided to turn your attention over there, and now you're dead. Right, bit tough, but not so bad. Oh, a meat pie, Lardy da. Oh, I wonder if there's werewolf in that. I probably shouldn't eat it because like that's kind of become temporary cannibalism. Still, I think we've got our destination here. Lower the spikes, crack open the. Ooh. It is in a different load zone. It's just not using the usual marker for that. Well, la -dee da Right. Why do I not trust the fact I'm in the cellar and it's still really close by? I feel like this... This feels like a trap to me. Oh, hello. You've got a fancy helmet, but other than that, you're unremarkable. So I'm just going to whack you with a stick. Right. One person dead. Keep on cracking on here. Yeah, it feels like it's very close by. This feels very linear, by the way. This dungeon is not desperately interesting. It just feels like it's, you know, a long corridor. And this is where they brew all their wine. And we'll just keep whacking you. And someone behind me. Go on, then. I will just... Oh, blimey. Good teamwork there, Vilkas. Good teamwork. Right. Keep it going on. It's got to be bloody somewhere around here. Oh, they've kept it in the ice caves. For no well-explained reason. Yeah, obviously, they're going to keep it in the ice cave. You have shown up without armor. Terrible idea. And I'm already out of bloody charge. Ooh, and that closed wounds. I'm seeing the difference there. That's bloody lovely. Right, finish you off nice and quick. And down you go. And a so Ooh. Right, captive werewolves. But if they're the berserk kind, be careful. Because that does lead to problems. Uh, because occasionally they just attack me. Hello. Are you? Oh, you're a brute. Yeah, I'm sorry, you can't be trusted. You can't be trusted. Brutes. Also, that's just a horse. These werewolf hunters were terrible at their jobs. Right, one round trip through the cellar later. We're back over here and... Ooh, I think we found it. Including the big lads. Okay, you're presumably the dangerous... Oh, yeah. Okay, so you're the more dangerous ones. Luckily, I've got a load of people here to help me out. Oi! Don't shoot at me. Right, okay. Let's let's help out some of these people here. Uh, where's the... Hang on. Which one's versus... You know, I'm going to go take out this guy. I will provide support by taking out the archers. And optional... I haven't actually wiped out this silver hand. Because there's literally still one... And he killed me as well. I literally completed the objective. Wipe out the silver hand. And then after that point, the silver hand killed me. Marvellous. Right, well, this time I've got a plan. How about all of you get yourselves frozen apart from this guy and then I can just... Oh, you're fast. Well, I think I can actually beat you anyway, so that's fine. Now, don't wake up the other guy just yet. Yeah, it's just the leader has to go down for that. Uh, let me just heal myself up. I've taken out the bad one for you and... Oh, yeah. That 10%'s lovely. Um, stamina damage... Yeah, you just seem to attack really fast, but your weapon did not have a special thing on that explained that at all. Right, well, I'll start looting while you guys are getting on with that. I'll take an ebony ingot as well, because, yeah, when we do inevitably reforge this big old thing, I suspect it's going to be ebony improvements, because it just kind of looks a bit ebony-ish. Now, I think I just saw them on the table, right? Or somewhere around here. Yep, there we go. Admittedly, there's not really enough here to make a giant battle <laughs> Feels very much like we don't actually uh, have enough to make an axe there, but okay, whatever. Ooh, and I actually found a skill book I haven't read for once. Warrior. Nice. 
So if I'm understanding this correctly, what I've just done there is like completely wipe out the command structure and manpower of the Silver Hand. So all the werewolf hunters have now been eliminated. Which I feel like may have been short-sighted of me because I'm literally in the process of trying to, you know, cure my and somebody else's werewolfism. And like, you know, the guy was like, oh no, it's a terrible curse. Werewolves are a mistake. We've got to cure it. We've got to get rid of it. And I've just killed the people who hunt the werewolves. And like, we also noticed how every time we've gone into a silver hand encampment, there's been like werewolf brutes in cages where we tried to let them out and they just basically attacked us on site, even if we ourselves were werewolves. Like, it feels like in some ways I may have just made a mistake. Like, quite a major mistake, actually. Ooh. Yeah, I feel like I might regret this, especially as I'm not even going to be a werewolf in five minutes. I'm going to sort that out. But then again, if it's anything like vampires, that's not going to stop the werewolf hunters coming for you. Because apparently once a werewolf, always a werewolf in their eyes. Anyway, rather than actually heading straight back to hand over that, there's one more thing I did want to do today. So back over here in the valley next to White Run itself, I had an idea. Which is, I was struggling a bit against very high level silver hand people as a basic unupgraded werewolf. But round this part of the world, there's a whole bunch of- Get out of the way! There's a whole bunch of little kind of areas that are presumably quite low level. And fairly easy for me to just kind of swing through. So I was thinking, how about I just pick off some bandits, eat some of their hearts and whatever, and you are- No, you're a sabre cat, that doesn't help. Uh, yeah, here we go. There's this place right here. So, let's turn into a werewolf about here-ish. That should do the job. And I don't know where my shield or weapons go. They just kind of go somewhere. Right. And now we just sprint over here and we start eating some bandits. Some just like basic low-level bandits because, well, you're a high woman, but that's still not that bad. Hello! Right, how are we doing? And, okay, he's, he's winning. He's actually winning. I... I'm, well, okay, he's not winning that much, um, because he's not attacking that fast. Now someone's going for magic. Now I'm just savaging that person. Right, now Vilkus has caught up. Now I need to, wait, where's he, where's the corpse gone? Did I already consume it? Because, because if so, that was, that was a mistake. Also, there's a dragon. This is not the time for you. That's a revered dragon, isn't it? That's actually a revered dragon. Right, go, go, go. Right, I need to feed, because I need to get my health back. And I need to... Yeah, there's my bloodlust extended. Right, is the dragon is the dragon around? Like, I don't look like the dragonborn right now. I just look like some werewolf. So I'm hoping the dragon's like, eh, you know what? Not worth my trouble. Uh, okay. You guys over here. There we go. Oh, and oh, I need to feed on you as well. Yep, feed. There we are, werewolf. Have I still not got a flipping perk? I feel like I was getting perks as a vampire a lot faster than this. Right, okay. And now just go, go, marauder. Oh, marauders are quite tough, but... Okay, this is this is going all right. Right, finish you off, and now now go into a weird frenzy thing. Okay, this time hasn't disappeared. Right, bloodlust extended again. How many bloody hearts do you need me to consume? Because I feel like I've already consumed a few. Right, where? Are, wait, which one's which? Oh, you're Vilkas. No, this this person, this person, this this person. Uh, momentarily, Vilkas is going to go down. Uh, probably because I've been hitting Vilkas. Right, okay, I need to keep feeding. Vilkas, turn into a... There we go, we finally got a perk. Vilkas, just turn into a werewolf, man. Just turn into a flipping werewolf. There we are, more feeding. Right, so it takes quite a few hearts to get a single werewolf perk going on, as it turns out. Uh, do we actually have anyone else around here? No, I've already cleared these bastards out. All right. Now, uh, let's see, how are we doing here? Yeah, we've already eaten all of these, lads. Marvellous. Oh, hang on, maybe I ranked up twice. So I think I, No, hang on, I already had one in the bag uh, that I think I took and then untook because I was killed. So, I can do four ranks of 25% more damage, so I can double my damage, though. The damage felt okay, but honestly, it feels like even if I doubled it, I'd still be only, like, you know, as strong as I am anyway. Then I've got uh, summon ice wolves, summon werewolves. Okay, summoning some extra werewolf companions would be all right. Uh, Totem of Terror. Howl of Terror affects even higher level creatures. So a big fear spell. Uh, extended range for Werewolf Totem of the Hunt. Shows whether targets are not in combat. What's Totem of the Hunt Howl? To Totem of the... Wait, hang on. 
Hang on, is Totem of the Hunt one of these things? No, it's not. Okay, 100 points of health and stamina. Feeding us... Okay, that one's pretty bloody important. <laughs> Going straight over to Gorging to get my health back. Because, yeah, I really feel like you struggle. Because it feels to me like, you know, werewolves should have lots of natural health regen. But they just don't really seem to. Uh, okay. That's... All right, if not exactly spectacular. I guess I'll take Bestial Strength 1 into Animal Vigor, because I kind of want to rush towards gorging, like, as soon as flipping possible. And here's fun. Because I've actually fed on Benor before, I'm not allowed to do it again. Well, there's a fun thing to note. I'm learning all sorts of fun facts about thralls and werewolves and their interactions. Someone did actually um, link, I believe, in the comments, uh, yeah, a mod that does fix that. So becoming a vampire lord or becoming a werewolf doesn't kill thralls. I need to remember to install that, because that would indeed be rather useful, yes. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I'd say that's enough for now. We have managed to avenge Codlack's death, but we've got all these witches' heads, so I imagine we're going to be doing something with them just yet. I mean, actually, possibly it's just for me. Yeah, you know what? This is probably what we're going to do. I'm going to become the new guildmaster. I'm going to cure my werewolfism, and I imagine I've probably got enough heads now to make everyone else also not a werewolf, because how many people are in the circle? There's me, Vilkas, Farkas, Ayla, and... Skew oh, that's perfect. Fine. So basically, it's just um, no. Skewer's dead. Oh, maybe he needs to no. No Skewer. Yeah, Skewer's definitely dead. Fine. Maybe I'm forgetting someone. I think I might have enough heads to basically cure the werewolfism in the entire companions, and that strikes me as a good thing to do. And also, now that we've actually got the fragments and whatever, I imagine we're going to be reforging that, and I'll be interested to see whether that might be a fun weapon to hand over to Benor. So that is all coming up very, very soon indeed. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Skyrim. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Yeah. No, okay, that would have been good if I'd actually hit the ball. And swing! Yes, yes, yes! That is the swing! That is the swing! Come on! Go for you! Oh, yes! Oh, 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 oh! I'll get you next time, golf.